Hey friends, so in this lesson we'll integrate Facebook authentication into our existing application. If this is your first stop into the user authentication tutorial, please make sure to configure and initialize Firebase into your project and handle platform integration. You can find these steps, uh, the steps to do these processes in the link in the description box below or card above. So let's proceed. So back to our existing application, we'll proceed to create a new file called onboarding Facebook dot dot. In there, we are going to design the interface and also the logic behind Facebook authentication. We'll call our class Facebook authentication. We'll proceed to define our interface. So we'll return a container and inside the container, our child, we're going to call the sign in button and specify our button type to Facebook. We'll define the width. Proceed to set on pressed. Define the height using the container and then we'll just pick our class and pass it in the onboard onboarding section. Onboarding class const Facebook authentication. Let's import it. There we have our in our screen we have our button. Let's proceed to set padding at the top. Great. Next, we're going to head over to developers.facebook.com where we're going to create an app, specify, allow people to log in, and then we set our app name. We'll give our app name user authentication app, and then we're going to set the email and create. Inside it, we're going to navigate um, going to navigate to settings basic. And that's where we're going to get our app ID and our app secret. So let's proceed to the Firebase section, back to our project and in the authentication section, we're going to set an enable sign in for Facebook. And inside there, we're going to add the app ID and the app secret. And Firebase will provide for us with an OAuth redirect URI, which will copy and take it to the Facebook side. Save that. So in product section, configure settings. We have a section where we add our OAuth redirect URI. Let's just paste and enter. Then we save our changes. With that done, back to our project. We're going to do some settings on the iOS um, platform. In our info dot please, we already set the CF bundle URL types when doing Google authentication. So we need to add another string to, sh to display the app ID. So we have the Google one for Google authentication and the app ID. Then we have other keys and strings that we have added that will present the app ID, the client token, and the display name. Make sure you set them accurately. So once we're done with that configuration, we can proceed. There's no configuration required on the Android section. So we're just installing Flutter Facebook uh, sign-in uh, plugin. That's the one that's going to help us uh, sign in with Facebook. So we're just importing it. Flutter Facebook Auth. And with this, we're going to create a new function called sign in with Facebook. So we're going to define a variable of type login result and it will in will initialize it with an instance of Facebook auth. 
which will make a login request using the Facebook SDK. And then we're going to declare an OAuth credential data type variable, which will assign it to the OAuth credentials and we'll pass the access token from the login result. Great. And then lastly, we're going to sign in on to fair Facebook. So we just want to define the data type of our function to use a credential and just proceed to run Firebase and Firebase auth.instance.sign in with credential. We pass the new credentials that we have. Great. Now let's pass the sign in with Facebook into our button. So we'll define and set our try and catch. And then define our variable user credential. Type user credential and get the results from sign in with Facebook. Then we pass the credentials that we get to our welcome screen, which is mainly the display name, the photo URL, and the email address. And with that displayed, you'll find with that uh, set, you should be able to log in, sign in. But it's important to note in Facebook, they also require you to review or to send your application for review. And in this case, since we are doing a tutorial, um, it, I didn't have to send this for app review. So we'll get an error, but this small error will be prevented if you set your app for upload or send your app for an app review and also you make sure that where the facebook credentials that you're logging with are not is not a business account which was partly my case so for those two settings you have to make sure but otherwise we have done the whole configuration that's needed let's just try and restart again and run the application so sign in continue so those are the only two things either you need to upload your app for our preview or make sure that your account is not a business account so with that we have reached the end of this part of the tutorial thanks for watching and i'll see you on the next one